Hi, I'm Alexandrina and in today's short video I'm going to explain the difference between using if else statements and try accept statements in Python since one of my viewers asked me in a comment. So usually we use if else statements when we want to compare two values. For instance, a common use case is if we want to check if a certain number is equal, less than or greater than a certain value. Another example could be comparing two strings if you want to see if they're equal to each other. Let's now give an example. Let's imagine that we want to play a game and the minimum number of people we need in the game is 10. So we want to create a program which checks if the people are at least 10 and if they are, we want to print a message which says there are a certain number of people, for instance 12 people, and they are enough to start the game. If they are less than 10, however, we want to print there are, for instance, 8 people, we need at least 2 more, because 8 plus 2 equals 10, which is the minimum, to start the game. So let's write that in code. This is a pretty simple program, so we can set up a variable, which is going to be called people, and it is going to equal an integer of input because input is always a string, so we want to convert it into integer in order to compare it with 10. So this is the number of people currently in the game, and we want to say if the people are greater than or equal to zero because the minimum up to 10, because 10 is the minimum, but 10 people are still enough, we want to say print, and I'm going to use a formatted string here, there are, and I want to insert the number of people, so this is the variable people, which means that this is going to be replaced by the count of the people, for instance, 12 people. And now we want to add the word people to the string, so there are 12 people. They are enough to start the game. Alright, however, if the people currently in the game are less than 10, so we are going to use else, we want to print, again, a formatted string, there are, it starts the same way, so there are, this is the count of the people, and then the word people, and now we want to say, we need, at least, I'm going to leave that empty form for now, more to start the game. And now we want to see how many more we need. So if we have seven people, in, we need a minimum of 10, this is going to be 10 minus 7, we need 3 more. If we have 4 people currently, we need 6 more, right? So we can say 10, which is the minimum, minus the current people. So let's first test this and see if it works. Let me say that I have 4 people. So if we have 4 people, we should go in here and print this string, print there are 4 people, we need at least six more to start the game. So let's write four. And yes, as you can see, there are four people. We need at least six more to start the game. Let's now try the other case. Um, let's say there are 14 people. So there are 14 people. They are enough to start the game. This is the purpose of if else statements. But now let's try something else. Let me run this program again and enter a float. So, for example, 4.5. As you can see, now we get an error. Value error. Invalid literal for int with base 10, 4.5. So, we cannot use a float and try to convert it into integer, because this is not a whole number. This is the point where try except statements come in handy. So let me comment that for now and try something else. Now we're going to check if the number is an integer or float. Um, actually, let me write it here. So we're going to say try taking the, p the input oops, and converting it into an integer. And if this works, we can now cut this whole thing, paste it here and uncomment it because I don't need this anymore. We want it to work. 
Oops, something's wrong with the format here. So let's quickly fix that. I want this to come here. All right. So try converting the input into an integer. And if it works, if you don't have such an error, I want you to see if they're le uh, greater than or equal to 10 or if they're less than 10. However, if you cannot convert them into integer, this means that you have entered um, maybe a string or a float. I want you to say, so we write accept here and we want to say, um, for instance, print, um, please enter a an integer. So let's run this program again, the first time with a valid input. So let's say four and we get the correct output. So there are four people, we need at least six more. But now let's try again with a float. So 4.5, please enter an integer. So that's the main use case of try except statements. We want to check if something can be converted into something else or, it, or in general, if there could be an error. And if there's an error, instead of getting this unpleasant message from here, we can just handle it in a different way. We can give something more specific to the user so that he knows what to do. And of course, we can ask for input again here. I'm not going to do that, but it's a valid option. But if everything's fine, you could just print the messages you want to. I hope this video was helpful to you. Of course, if you have more questions, you can write them down in the comments or you can message me on DM, on Instagram, Facebook and all my other social medias. Bye for now and in the next part we're going to continue with CS50 Finance and finish the problem.